Welcome to DMV Pass, CDL Practice Test General Knowledge 150 Questions and Answers, Remix. Hey there, thanks for your continued support. If you're new to this channel, subscribe now and activate notifications so you don't miss our future post. Please like, share and make sure you watch this video multiple times and get ready for your test. Let's go. 1. At 55 miles per hour it takes about 6 seconds to stop a fully loaded truck and the braking distance is A. About the length of a football field or 100 yards B. About a quarter mile C. About two truck lengths D. About two car lengths The correct answer is A. About the length of a football field or 100 yards 2. Which of the following statements about overhead space is true? A. The heights posted at bridges are usually accurate. B. The weight of the cargo changes a truck's height. C. Warning lights are always installed on low bridges and overpasses. D. An empty van is lower than a loaded one. The correct answer is B. The weight of the cargo changes a truck's height. 3. How often should you check your cargo? A. Within the first 50 miles after beginning a trip. B. Every 150 miles or every 3 hours. C. After every break you take during driving. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. 4. Your vehicle is going down a long hill and your brakes begin to fail. What should you do? A. Pump the brake pedal. B. Downshift. C. Put the gears in neutral. D. Look for an escape ramp or an escape route. The correct answer is D. Look for an escape ramp or an escape route. 5. Tires should be replaced. A. When the tread separates. B. When there are broken valve stems. C. If the tread depth on your front tires is less than 430 seconds deep. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. 6. Suspension systems. A. Keep the load secure. B. Keep the axles in place. C. Keep the brake drums from failing. D. Keep the steering wheel tight. The correct answer is B. Keep the axles in place. 7. In the event of an accident, you should remember to do the following except A. Move the victims out of the way immediately. B. Protect the area. C. Notify authorities. D. Stop any bleeding and keep the victims warm. The correct answer is A. Move the victims out of the way immediately. 8. Which of the following statements about downshifting is not true? A. Downshift before starting down a hill. B. Downshift before entering a curve. C. Downshift when you get to the bottom of a hill. D. Downshift before climbing a hill. The correct answer is D. Downshift before climbing a hill. 9. A commercial motor vehicle, CMV, is defined as A. A vehicle with a gross weight over 26,001 pounds. B. A vehicle transporting hazardous materials. C. A vehicle transporting 16 or more passengers. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 10. When accelerating. A. Always use the parking brake to slow down. B. Do not engage the clutch before you take your foot off the brake. 
C. Speed up smoothly and gradually and avoid jerking. D. Hammer down when your wheels start to spin. The correct answer is C. Speed up smoothly and gradually and avoid jerking. 11. When is the road likely to be more slippery? A. After a hard rain. B. After it has been raining lightly for 30 minutes. C. When it has just begun to rain. D. After the rain has ended. The correct answer is C. When it has just begun to rain. 12. To correct a drive wheel braking skid you should A. Pump the brake B. Steer in the opposite direction C. Release the brake and steer or counter steer D. Accelerate quickly The correct answer is C. Release the brake and steer or counter steer 13. Which of the following is not true when driving through a curve? A. You should slow down before the curve. B. You should brake during the curve. C. The higher your truck's center of gravity is, the easier it is to roll over. D. You should be in a gear that allows you to accelerate during the curve. The correct answer is, B. You should brake during the curve. 14. Which of the following statements about stopping distances is not true? A. Empty trucks require greater stopping distances because they have less traction. B. Trucks traveling on ice or snow require greater stopping distances. C. Brakes, tires, springs and shocks are designed to work best when the truck is empty. D. Trucks traveling at higher speeds require greater stopping distances. The correct answer is C. Brakes, tires, springs and shocks are designed to work best when the truck is empty. 15. What is the reason the exhaust system should be checked? A. A leaking exhaust system can allow poisonous fumes into the cab. B. A leaking exhaust system can promote poor fuel mileage. C. A leaking exhaust system can be caused by snow and rain. D. A leaking exhaust system can hamper your visibility. The correct answer is A. A leaking exhaust system can allow poisonous fumes into the cab. 16. In the event of a tire failure, you should A. Stay off the brake and hold the steering wheel firmly. B. Pump the brakes until you come to a stop. C. Accelerate quickly until you find a place to pull over. D. Disengage the clutch so you are in neutral gear. The correct answer is A. Stay off the brake and hold the steering wheel firmly. 17. What is the first thing to do if your vehicle catches fire while driving? A. Open the door and jump out of the vehicle. B. Pull off the road and park in an open area. C. Find a service station to pull into. D. Open the hood and let the flames die down. The correct answer is B. Pull off the road and park in an open area. 18. When using turn signals, which of the following should be avoided? A. Signal just before you start to make a turn. B. Signal when you want to change lanes. C. Signal before you exit. D. Signal when you are merging into traffic. The correct answer is A. Signal just before you start to make a turn. 19. Safe drivers maintain space around their vehicles for the following reasons except A. In case you must stop suddenly. B. In case there are cars following too closely. C. In case there is an obstacle in the road. D. In case you need to test your brakes.
The correct answer is D, in case you need to test your brakes. 20. If you must stop on the shoulder of the road, you should place warning devices at all of the following places except A. Within 10 feet of the front or rear corners B. About 100 feet behind your vehicle C. About 100 feet in front of your vehicle D. On the other side of a divided highway The correct answer is D. On the other side of a divided highway 21. When making a left hand turn you should always A. Wait until you reach the center of the intersection before you turn B. Start in the left hand lane if there are two turning lanes C. Pull into the intersection in case the light turns before you are through D. Wait for a small gap in traffic and accelerate The correct answer is A. Wait until you reach the center of the intersection before you turn. 22. How much space should you maintain in front of you at highway speeds? A. 7 seconds for a 60-foot vehicle. B. 5 seconds for a 60-foot vehicle. C. 10 seconds for a 60-foot vehicle. D. 3 seconds for a 60-foot vehicle. The correct answer is A. 7 seconds for a 60-foot vehicle. 23. The best time to test your parking brake is A. When the vehicle is parked. B. When the vehicle is going down a hill. C. When the vehicle is moving slowly. D. When the vehicle is traveling on the highway. The correct answer is A, when the vehicle is parked. 24. The best way to warn the drivers behind you that you are slowing down is to A, blow your horn. B, turn on your emergency flashers. C, tap your brakes. D, flash your bright lights. The correct answer is C, tap your brakes. 25. The following statements about an engine overheating are true except A. Antifreeze is only used in colder temperatures. B. If you can touch the radiator cap with your bare hand, it is probably cool enough to open. C. It is not possible to safely drive without radiator fluid. D. Never leave the engine running if it is overheating. The correct answer is A. Antifreeze is only used in colder temperatures. 26. When going down a hill you should always A. Use higher gears when you have a heavy load. B. Allow the brakes to heat up for better stopping power. C. Be in the right gear before starting down the hill. D. Put heavy pressure on the brakes to allow the drums to cool. The correct answer is C, be in the right gear before starting down the hill. 27. Which one of the following is true about shifting gears? A, remain in neutral as long as possible. B, allow the engine tachometer to rev into the highest range possible. C, ignore how the engine sounds. D, shift at the best RPM range for your vehicle. The correct answer is D. Shift at the best RPM range for your vehicle. 28. When backing up the tractor trailer, try to avoid A. Backing toward the right passenger side. B. Backing toward the left driver's side. C. Pulling ahead to reposition your trailer. D. Having someone help or guide you. The correct answer is A. Backing toward the right passenger side. 29. What is the best thing to do if you are tired? A. Drink plenty of coffee to stay awake. B. Take pills to keep you alert. 
C. Plan your trips for the middle of the night to avoid traffic. D. Get enough sleep. The correct answer is, D. Get enough sleep. 30. Which is not part of the pre-trip inspection. A. Check engine oil level. B. Check horns. C. Check air seat adjustments. D. Check seat belt fastener. The correct answer is, C. Check air seat adjustments. 31. Concerning night driving, which statement is true? A. Most people are more alert at night. B. Most heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. C. Most hazards are easier to see at night because of the extra lighting. D. If you become sleepy, drink enough coffee to keep you awake until you get to your destination. The correct answer is, B. Most heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. 32. Which of the following statements about alcohol is true? A. If you eat before you drink you won't get as drunk. B. Drinking coffee will help you stay sober. C. Fresh air will help you sober up. D. A few beers are the same as a few shots of whiskey or glasses of wine. The correct answer is, D. A few beers are the same as a few shots of whiskey or glasses of wine. 33. You are pulled over for weaving all over the lanes. If you refuse to take an alcohol sobriety test, you may be disqualified just as if you were driving under the influence, DUI. This is because A. Higher standard of care law. B. Reasonable cause law. C. Implied consent law. D. None of the above. The correct answer is, C. Implied consent law. 34. If you are asked to haul a placarded load and you do not have hazmat endorsements you should A. Obtain written approval from your dispatcher. B. Obtain written approval from the DOT official. C. Refuse to take the load. D. Take the placards off the vehicle. The correct answer is, C. Refuse to take the load. 35. If you are convicted of a traffic violation in a state other than the one that issued your CDL. A. You must notify your home state of the conviction. B. That state will notify your home state. C. It's nobody's business but your own. D. It doesn't go on your record. The correct answer is, A. You must notify your home state of the conviction. 36. If you do not have a hazmat endorsement on your CDL, under what conditions may you legally haul hazardous materials? A. If your dispatcher feels it is an emergency situation. B. If the load does not require placards. C. When you will remain within your state. D. When a DOT official approves the load. The correct answer is, B. If the load does not require placards. 37. Upon conviction of a traffic violation, you should notify your employer within 30 days if A. The violation occurred in your personal vehicle. B. The violation occurred in a commercial vehicle. C. The violation was for parking in a restricted area. D. Both A and B. The correct answer is D. Both A and B. 38. Overloading your trailer can result in the following except a. It can slow you down on upgrades. B. It can increase stopping distances. C. It can help you go through snow better. D. It can increase speed on downgrades.
The correct answer is a C. It can help you go through snow better. 39. When making an emergency stop on the highway. A. Put on your four-way flashers and keep them on until you're back on the road. B. Put on your four-way flashers and keep them on until your warning devices are in place. C. Place a red flag from the rear of your vehicle. D. Blow your horn to alert motorists. The correct answer is B. Put on your four-way flashers and keep them on until your warning devices are in place. 40. All drivers who need a CDL must take the A. Air brakes test B. Combination vehicles test C. Chauffeur's license test D. General knowledge test The correct answer is D. General knowledge test 41. Bridge laws a. Control traffic on a bridge. B. Determine the maximum legal axle weight. C. Apply only to bridges in California. D. Can lower the maximum axle weight limit. The correct answer is D. Can lower the maximum axle weight limit. 42. You should downshift. A. Before starting down a steep hill. B. When the speedometer or tachometer indicates that it's necessary. C. Before entering a sharp curve. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 43. Your vehicle's battery box must have A. At least two batteries. B. Enough fluid to work properly. C. At least one loose wire for grounding. D. A secure cover. The correct answer is D. A secure cover. 44. A vehicle marked at the rear with a red triangle having an orange center. A. Is hauling hazardous materials. B. Is moving slowly. C. Is a farm vehicle. D. May stop at any time. Forty-five. Maintain good visual alertness by A. Fixing your eyes on the road in front of you. B. Looking ahead as far as you can see. C. Keeping a close eye on the road behind you. D. Shifting your attention between the mirrors and the road ahead. The correct answer is D. Shifting your attention between the mirrors and the road ahead. 46. Normal engine temperature ranges from A. 180 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 100 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 165 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. D. Any of the above, as long as it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The correct answer is C. 165 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. 47. Signaling other drivers when it's safe for them to pass is A. A great aid to highway safety. B. Required. C. An unsafe practice. D. A common courtesy drivers should extend to each other. The correct answer is C. An unsafe practice. 48. If you try to downshift while coming down a mountain, you might A. Damage the engine. B. Wear out the clutch. C. Get stuck in neutral. D. Lose traction. The correct answer is C. Get stuck in neutral. 49. When the roads are wet, icy, or snow covered. A. Use your retarder for braking as much as possible. 
B. Turn the retarder off. C. Use the retarder's maximum setting for better traction. D. Be ready to turn the retarder on if you start to skid. The correct answer is B. Turn the retarder off. 50. Rust around will nuts often means that A. The nuts are loose. B. The nuts are broken. C. It's been raining a lot lately. D. It's nothing to worry about. The correct answer is A. The nuts are loose. 51. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is A. Driving too fast for road conditions. B. Poorly designed roads. C. Poorly adjusted brakes. D. Overinflated tires. The correct answer is A. Driving too fast for road conditions. 52. Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? A. Not enough weight on the front axle. B. Over acceleration. C. Turning too sharply. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 53. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? A. Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during times when the roads are not busy. B. When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded totally full. C. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. D. Loads that consist of liquids in bulk do not present vehicle handling problems because they are usually very heavy. The correct answer is C. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. 54. Every time you park your vehicle and shut the engine off you should A. Leave it in gear if it has a manual transmission. B. Apply the parking brake. C. Turn the steering wheel as far to the left as you can. D. Do all the above. The correct answer is B. Apply the parking brake. 55. Which of these describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? A. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring you speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. B. With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. C. Light, steady pressure all the way down the grade. D. Light, pumping action. Gradually increase pressure if speed increases. The correct answer is A. Release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat braking again, bring you speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. 56. Which of these statements about backing a heavy vehicle is true? A. Backing is always dangerous. B. You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. C. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals whenever possible. D. All of the above are true. The correct answer is D. All of the above are true. 57. When should you wear seat belts? A. Uh, only in states where it is required by law. B. Any time you are in a moving vehicle. C. Only when engaged in interstate commerce. D. Only when traveling on a highway. The correct answer is B. Any time you are in a moving vehicle. 58. Truck escape ramps. A. Cannot be used by certain types of heavy vehicles. B. Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. 
C. Should not be used unless you have first tried all other ways to save your vehicle after brake failure. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, B, are designed to protect vehicles from damage. 59. For an average commercial vehicle, being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about, blank, to bring the vehicle to a stop. A. The length of a vehicle. B. Half the length of a football field. C. Twice the length of the vehicle. D. The length of a football field. The correct answer is, D, the length of a football field. 60. You are driving a vehicle that could safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road. But traffic is now heavy, moving at 35 miles per hour although the speed limit is 55. The safest speed for your vehicle in this situation is most likely. A, 55 miles per hour. B, 45 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. D. 25 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. 35 miles per hour. 61. An en route inspection should include checking A. Cargo doors and or cargo securement. B. Tire temperature. C. Brake temperature. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, D. All of the above. 62. Which of these pieces of emergency equipment should be carried at all times in your vehicle? A. Fire extinguishers. B. Warning devices for parked vehicles. C. Spare electrical fuses, if the vehicle uses them. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, D. All of the above. 63. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long downhill grade? A. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. B. The same gear you would use to climb the hill. C. A higher gear that you would use to climb the hill. D. None, newer trucks can coast down hills. The correct answer is, A. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. 64. Stab braking. A. Should never be used. B. Involves locking the wheels. C. Involves steady pressure on the brake pedal. D. Should only be used on slick roads. The correct answer is, B. Involves locking the wheels. 65. High beams should be. I. Dimmed when you are within 100 feet of another vehicle. B. Used whenever it is safe and legal to do so. C. Turned on when an oncoming driver does not dim his or her lights. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, B. Used whenever it is safe and legal to do so. 66. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. When can you drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials? A. Never. B. Only when the shipment will not cross state lines. C. Only when the vehicle does not require placards. D. Only when a person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides in the vehicle. The correct answer is C. Only when the vehicle does not require placards. 67. What is counter steering? I. Using the steering axle brakes to prevent oversteering. B. Steering in the opposite direction from what other drivers expect you to do. C. Turning the wheel in the opposite direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. D. 
turning the steering wheel counterclockwise. The correct answer is C, turning the wheel in the opposite direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. 68. When roads are slippery, you should A. Stop and test the traction while going up hills. B. Drive alongside other drivers. C. Decreases the distance that you look ahead of your vehicle. D. Make turns as gently as possible. The correct answer is D. Make turns as gently as possible. 69. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? A. At a special brake testing center only. B. When the vehicle is traveling downhill without a load. C. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. D. In a parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. The correct answer is C. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. 70. While driving, you see a small, one foot square, cardboard box ahead in your lane. You should a. Steer around it when it is safe to do so. b. Hit it with your vehicle to knock it off the road. c. Brake hard to avoid hitting it. d. Stop and direct traffic around it. The correct answer is a. Steer around it when it is safe to do so. 71. Which of these statements about brakes is true? A. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. B. Brakes have more stopping power when they get very hot. C. The heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. The heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. 72. Your vehicle is in a traffic emergency and may collide with another vehicle if you do not take action. Which of these is a good rule to remember at such a time? A. Stopping is always the safest action in a traffic emergency. B. Open the door and jump out if you have time. C. Heavy vehicles can almost always turn more quickly than they can stop. D. Leaving the road is always more risky than hitting another vehicle. The correct answer is C. Heavy vehicles can almost always turn more quickly than they can stop. 73. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? A. Some people are not affected by drinking. B. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey. C. Coffee and fresh air can sober a person up. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey. 74. Which of these can help you stay alert while driving? A. Taking short breaks before you are drowsy. B. Keeping the cab warm. C. Taking over-the-counter cold medicine. D. Scheduling trips during hours that you are normally asleep. The correct answer is A. Taking short breaks before you are drowsy. 75. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? A. Release the accelerator. B. Start stab braking. C. Counter steer hard. D. Accelerate slightly. The correct answer is A. Release the accelerator. 76. Which of these is a sign of tire failure? A. Steering that feels heavy. B. Vibration. C. A loud bang. D. All of the above.
The correct answer is D, all of the above. 77. Under loaded front axles can cause the following. A. Too much play in the steering wheel. B. Poor traction. C. Damage to the tires. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 78. You are traveling down a long, steep hill. Your brakes get so hot that they fail. What should you do? A. Pump the brake pedal. B. Downshift. C. Look for an escape ramp or escape route. D. All of the above, simultaneously if possible. The correct answer is C. Look for an escape ramp or escape route. 79. Which one of these is not part of the check of the engine compartment done for a pre-trip inspection? A. Worn wiring insulation. B. Engine oil level. C. Condition of belts and hoses. D. Valve clearance. The correct answer is D. Valve clearance. 80. According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? A. It wears down the battery. B. It can startle other drivers. C. The horn is not a good way to let others know you're there. D. You should keep both hands tightly gripping the steering wheel. The correct answer is B. It can startle other drivers. 81. Cargo inspections. A. Should be performed after every break you take while driving. B. Are only needed if hazardous materials are being hauled. C. Not the responsibility of the driver. D. Should be performed every 6 hours or 300 miles. The correct answer is A. Should be performed after every break you take while driving. 82. The key principle in balancing cargo weight is to keep the load. A. On the side away from most traffic. B. Balanced in the cargo area. C. To the front. D. To the rear. The correct answer is B. Balanced in the cargo area. 83. How do you test hydraulic brakes for leaks? A. Measure the free play in the pedal with a ruler. B. With the vehicle stopped, pump the pedal three times, apply firm pressure for five seconds, then hold and see if the pedal moves. C. Step on the brake pedal and the accelerator at the same time and see if the vehicle moves. D. Move the vehicle slowly and see if it stops when the brake is applied. The correct answer is B. With the vehicle stopped, pump the pedal three times, apply firm pressure for five seconds, then hold and see if the pedal moves. 84. Which of these is a good rule to follow when driving at night? A. Keep your instrument lights bright. B. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. C. Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. D. Wear sunglasses. The correct answer is C. Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. 85. The proper way to hold a steering wheel is at clock positions, blank, and, blank. A. 6 and 12. B. 3 and 9. C. 430 and 730. D. A. 130 and 1030. The correct answer is, B. 3 and 9. 86. You should use your mirrors to check. A. Traffic gaps before you merge. B. The condition of the tires and cargo. C. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. D. All of the above.
The correct answer is D. All of the above. 87. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? A. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. B. You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. C. You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. D. Convex mirrors make things look closer than they really are. The correct answer is A. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. 88. You are starting your vehicle in motion from a stop. As you apply power to the drive wheels, they start to spin. You should A. Take your foot off the accelerator and apply the brakes. B. Press harder on the accelerator. C. Take your foot off the accelerator. D. Try a lower gear. The correct answer is C. Take your foot off the accelerator. 89. A vehicle is loaded with very little weight on the drive axle. What may result? A. Damage to drive axle tires. B. A need to disconnect the steering axle brakes. C. Better handling. D. Poor traction. The correct answer is D. Poor traction. 90. Your brakes can get wet when you drive through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? A. Lack of braking power. B. Trailer jackknife. C. Wheel lockup. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 91. To correct a rear wheel, drive wheel, braking skid, you should A. Apply more braking pressure to the brake pedal. B. Release brakes and accelerate. C. Apply more pressure to the brake pedal and steer slash counter steer. D. Release the brakes and steer slash counter steer. The correct answer is D. Release the brakes and steer slash counter steer. 92. Which of these statements about downshifting is true? A. When you downshift for a curve, you should do so before you enter the curve. B. When double clutching, you should let the RPMs decrease while the clutch is released and the shift lever is in neutral. C. When you downshift for a hill, you should do so after you start down the hill. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. When you downshift for a curve, you should do so before you enter the curve. 93. Which of these statements about managing space is true? A. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. B. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. C. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. 94. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to black ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? A. Apply the brakes often to keep the linings dry. B. Downshift to stop. C. Drive at a varying speed. D. Stop driving in park where it is safe to do so. The correct answer is D. Stop driving in park where it is safe to do so. 95. Which of these is the most important things to remember about emergency braking? A. If the wheels are skidding you cannot control vehicle. B. Disconnecting steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. C. Never do it without downshifting first. D. It wears brake linings.
The correct answer is A. If the wheels are skidding you cannot control the vehicle. 96. Which of these statements about drugs is true? A. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. B. Amphetamines, pet pills or bennies can be used to help the driver stay alert. C. Use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrest. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrest. 97. You are testing the stopping action of service brakes on a hydraulic system. Which of these can mean there is a problem? A. The brake pedal goes to the floor. B. Stopping action is delayed. C. The vehicle pulls to one side when the brake pedal is pressed. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 98. While driving, ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should. A. Keep driving and spray the windshield with washer fluid. B. Keep driving and reach out the window and knock the ice off. C. Pull over in a safe place and remove the ice. D. Keep driving and turn your defroster on. The correct answer is C. Pull over in a safe place and remove the ice. 99. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? A. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. B. One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. C. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. D. One about 50 feet from the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. The correct answer is C. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. 100. You are driving in the right lane of a four-lane, undivided road. You come over a hill and find a car stopped ahead in your lane. You do not have room to stop, and the hill blocks your view to the rear. Which of these is most? Likely the best action to take? A. Steer to the right. B. Use hard braking and brace for collision. C. Steer into the left lane. D. Steer into the oncoming lanes. The correct answer is A. Steer to the right. 101. The following are all probable signs of a tire blowout except A. A loud bang. B. Vibration of the vehicle. C. The smell of smoke. D. A thumping sound. The correct answer is C. The smell of smoke. 102. To correct a drive wheel acceleration skid you should. A. Stop accelerating and push in the clutch. B. Downshift. C. Pump the brake. D. Accelerate quickly. The correct answer is A. Stop accelerating and push in the clutch. 103. Which of the following statements about your mirrors is true? A. You cannot see your tires. B. You should be able to see any cars overtaking you. C. You should be able to see any vehicles behind your trailer. D. Some objects may appear smaller in your mirrors. The correct answer is D. Some objects may appear smaller in your mirrors. 104. 
Water can be used to extinguish which of the following fires? A. Tires B. Electrical fire C. Gasoline fire D. Chemical fire The correct answer is A. Tires 105. How should you hold your hands on the steering wheel? A. Near the bottom of the wheel B. Opposite sides of the wheel C. Near the top of the wheel D. One hand on the steering wheel and one on the shifter. The correct answer is B. Opposite sides of the wheel. 106. When driving at highway speeds, you should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead which is A. At least 100 yards. B. At least half a mile. C. At least a quarter of a mile. D. At least one tractor trailer length. The correct answer is C. At least a quarter of a mile. 107. Driving at night is more dangerous because of the following except A. Most people are less alert at night due to fatigue. B. Headlights often cause glare which can blind drivers. C. Traffic lights are less visible than in the day. D. There are more drunk drivers at night. The correct answer is B. Headlights often cause glare which can blind drivers. 108. If you find that you are being tailgate, you should A. Quickly change lanes to avoid an accident. B. Flash your brake lights to warn the tailgater. C. Decrease the distance between you and the tailgater. D. Increase the distance in front of you, if possible. The correct answer is D. Increase the distance in front of you, if possible. 109. When driving in heavy traffic you should travel. A. At a speed consistent with the flow of traffic. B. 5 mph less than automobiles regardless of posted limits. C. In the left lane when possible to avoid heavy lanes of traffic. D. In the right lane to avoid passing. The correct answer is A. At a speed consistent with the flow of traffic. 110. When making a right hand turn you should always. A. Uh, steer into the left lane first so you can make the corner. B. Rush through the intersection so you can get out of the way of traffic. C. Back up to make the driver behind you move back. D. Keep the rear of your vehicle close to the curb. The correct answer is D. Keep the rear of your vehicle close to the curb. 111. An engine retarder, Jake Brake, is designed to I. Use engine power to slow down the vehicle. B. Apply braking power to the steering wheel. C. Work only with manual transmissions. D. Work when you accelerate. The correct answer is A. Use engine power to slow down the vehicle. 112. If your vehicle doesn't pass a roadside inspection, A. It can be declared out of service. B. You cannot drive the vehicle, even to a repair station. C. You may repair it on the spot, then resume your trip. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 113. Which of the following are causes of vehicle fires? A. Spilled fuel. B. Short circuits. C. Driver smoking. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 114. Progressive shifting means 
I. Downshifting at lower RPM as you reach the lower gears. B. Downshifting at higher RPM as you reach the lower gears. C. Upshifting at lower RPM as you reach the higher gears. D. Upshifting at higher RPM as you reach the highest gears. The correct answer is D. Upshifting at higher RPM as you reach the highest gears. 115. The best way to put out a fire is to A. Get as close as possible and spray the flames. B. Stand downwind and spray the flames. C. Stand upwind and spray the base of the fire. D. Stop spraying as soon as the flames disappear. The correct answer is C. Stand upwind and spray the base of the fire. 116. Hydroplaning can occur when you drive through water or slush. If you experience hydroplaning you should A. Lightly tap your brakes to slow down. B. Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. C. Steer hard to the right. D. Speed up to get through the water quickly. The correct answer is B. Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. 117. By law, you must have your vehicle's lights on. A. One half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise. B. Unless street lights are lit. C. Only when there's not enough natural light to see clearly. D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. One half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise. 118. If you're required to keep a log of your time. A. You may bring it up to date once a week. B. Any FHWA agent may inspect it. C. You may assign your co-driver to fill it out and sign it for you. D. You should add an hour when you cross a time zone. The correct answer is, B, any FHWA agent may inspect it. 119. Normal oil pressure while idling is, A, 165 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 30 to 75 PSI, C, 30 to 35 PSI, D, 5 to 15 PSI. The correct answer is D, 5 to 15 PSI. 120. A front wheel skid is usually caused by A, driving too fast for conditions. B, lack of tread on the front tires. C, cargo improperly loaded. D, all of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 121. If you are being tailgate, you should. A. Signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass. B. Speed up. C. Flash your brake lights. D. Increase the space in front of you. The correct answer is D. Increase the space in front of you. 122. If you are stopped at a rest area and found to have a BAC, blood alcohol concentration, of 0.02 you will A. Be in trouble with the dispatcher. B. Be placed out of service for 24 hours. C. Be placed out of service for 48 hours. D. Be placed out of service for 72 hours. The correct answer is, B, be placed out of service for 24 hours. 123. The parking brake should be tested while the vehicle is. A, moving slowly. B, moving at highway speed. C, going downhill. D, parked.
The correct answer is D. Parked. 124. Blocking used to prevent cargo movement. A. Is secured to the cargo compartment floor. B. Is secured to the cargo itself. C. Is secured to the cargo and to the walls. D. Must be placed every three feet. The correct answer is, A, is secured to the cargo compartment floor. 125. Drive tire tread must be at least A, a quarter inch B, two thirty seconds inch C, half an inch D, a four thirty seconds inch The correct answer is, B, two thirty seconds inch 126. When should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed? A. During your pre-trip inspection. B. Doesn't have to be reviewed. C. Once per week. D. Once a month. The correct answer is A. During your pre-trip inspection. 127. The legal size and weight distribution limits. A. Should be your guide. B. Are not changed by adverse conditions. C. Does not ensure safe operations in adverse conditions. D. Are changed by the states depending upon the season. The correct answer is C. Does not ensure safe operations in adverse conditions. 128. Normal clutch travel is A. Less than 1 inch B. About 1 or 2 inches C. More than 2 inches D. It changes and can't be measured The correct answer is B. About 1 or 2 inches 129. State law can regulate a. The weight of your vehicle, but not the cargo. B. The weight of the cargo, but not your vehicle. C. Both your vehicle and cargo weights. D. Either weights. The federal government regulates legal weights. The correct answer is C. Both your vehicle and cargo weights. 130. A driver's trip log, if required. A. May be brought up to date once a week. B. May be written in pencil. C. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. 131. Which of these statements about cargo loading is true? A. State laws dictate legal weight limits. B. Slight overloading of a vehicle can make its brakes work better. C. If the shipper loads cargo, the driver is not responsible for overloading. D. The legal maximum weight allowed by a state can be considered safe for all driving conditions. The correct answer is, A. State laws dictate legal weight limits. 132. Which of these statements about marking a stopped vehicle is true? A. The vehicle's tail lights should be kept on to warn other drivers. B. If a hill or curve keeps drivers behind you from seeing the vehicle within 500 feet, the rear reflective triangle should be moved back down the road to give adequate warning. C. You do not need to put out reflective triangles unless the vehicle will be stopped for 30 minutes or more. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, B. If a hill or curve keeps drivers behind you from seeing the vehicle within 500 feet, the rear reflective triangle should be moved back down the road to give adequate warning. 133. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? A. 6 to 9 seconds. 
B. 9 to 12 seconds. C. 12 to 15 seconds. D. 18 to 21 seconds. The correct answer is C. 12 to 15 seconds. 134. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on A. The weight of the liquid. B. The legal weight limits. C. The amount of liquid will expand in transit. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 135. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 45 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal, dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 4 seconds. D. 5 seconds. The correct answer is D. 5 seconds. 136. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is generally the best action? A. Steer to the right. B. Steer onto the left shoulder. C. Hard braking. D. Steer into the oncoming lane. The correct answer is A. Steer to the right. 137. You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water. But if you must, which of these steps can help keep your brakes working? A. Applying hard pressure on both the brake pedal and accelerator after coming out of the water. B. Gently pressing the brake pedal while driving through the water. C. Turning on your brake heaters. D. Driving through quickly. The correct answer is, B, gently pressing the brake pedal while driving through the water. 138. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? A, when turning, you should signal early. B, you do not need to use your signal when changing lanes on a four-lane highway. C, you should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off the side of the road. D. When turning, you should cancel the signal just before you make the turn. The correct answer is A. When turning, you should signal early. 139. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? A. If you must stop to take a nap, it should be at a truck stop or other public area, never on the side of the road. B. A half-hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half-hour nap. C. The only thing that can cure fatigue is sleep. D. There are drugs that can overcome being tired. The correct answer is C. The only thing that can cure fatigue is sleep. 140. Retarders. A. Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. B. Cannot be used on interstate highways. C. Work better at very low RPMs. D. Can cause the vehicle to skid when the road is slippery. The correct answer is D. Can cause the vehicle to skid when the road is slippery. 141. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? A. In snowstorms, wiper blades should be adjusted so that they do not make direct contact with the windshield. B. Exhaust system leaks are less dangerous in cold weather. C. There is no need to worry about engine overheating when the weather is very cold. D. Windshield washer antifreeze should be added to the washer reservoir. The correct answer is D. Windshield washer antifreeze should be added to the washer reservoir. 142. 
you are checking your tires for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. B. Radial and bias ply tires can be used together on the same vehicle. C. Dual tires should be touching each other. D. 230 seconds inch tread depth is safe for the front tires. The correct answer is A. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. 143. Is it legal to drive with one fourth of a vehicle's leaf springs broken or missing? A. It doesn't make any difference as long as you drive slow. B. Yes. C. No. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. No. 144. The center of gravity of a load. A. Is only a problem if the vehicle is overloaded. B. Should be kept as high as possible. C. Can make a vehicle more likely to tip over on curves. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Can make a vehicle more likely to tip over on curves. 145. The first step to take if your vehicle catches fire while driving is A. Head for the nearest service station. B. Get the vehicle off the road and stop in an open area. C. Park in the shade of a building. D. Immediately open the door and jump out. The correct answer is B. Get the vehicle off the road and stop in an open area. 146. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? A. Stay downwind of the fire. B. Keep it as close to the fire as possible. C. Aim at the base of the fire. D. All the above. The correct answer is C. Aim at the base of the fire. 147. Dry bulk tanks require special care because A. The load can shift. B. They have a high center of gravity. C. Both of the above. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Both of the above. 148. The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. A. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. B. Accident reports will be accurate. C. Law enforcement personnel can be called. D. You can help impaired drivers. The correct answer is A. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. 149. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting is true? A. If you miss a gear while upshifting, you must bring the vehicle to a stop. B. Double clutching should only be used with a heavy load. C. You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. D. Double clutching should not be used when the road is slippery. The correct answer is C. You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. 150. To correct a rear wheel, drive wheel, braking skid, you should A. Apply more braking pressure to the brake pedal. B. Release brakes and accelerate. C. Apply more pressure to the brake pedal and steer or counter steer. D. Release the brakes and steer or counter steer. The correct answer is D. Release the brakes and steer or counter steer. 
Thanks for watching until the end. Are you willing to support this channel with a one-time contribution? You can send us super thanks. Doing so will help us grow and more people will benefit from our work. We would be forever grateful if you do so. All you have to do is slide left on the section where the share button is located. Just tap on super thanks and follow the prompts. To become a member of this channel, hit the join button now and select your membership level, like IP, important person, VIP, very important person or VVIP, very very important person. Any of these perks will give you early access to our videos and much more. Terms apply. Thank you already for your support.